What do you call a man without a mustache? A little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a mustache before, so I'm like, you know, what a good time to try it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, not for love. Not for puppy love. Are you going to feel comfortable going certain places now? Are, are you going to feel comfortable going to major events or even going to a restaurant, sitting really close next to somebody? How long is that going to take to get back to, to normal? What is normal now? I mean, our lives could be changed forever with this. I don't know what the new normal is going to be. We all have to figure this out together. One thing I do know is that we need to get our manufacturing back here from China, at least on the um, pharmaceutical, because what if this gets worse? What if this happens again? I mean, look at penicillin and different things. I mean, that's made in China. So we need to get things back to the United States just for our own safety. It's going to cost a bit more to make it here, but it's worth every penny of it to be more self-sufficient. And we're not right now as a country. I do think the market will come down some, but uh, nothing terribly. I mean, interest rates are so low right now. I mean, they're about 3.3 for 30. 30 year fix, which is incredible. Will the interest rates come back up uh, after this is all done? I don't know. Uh, a, a lot of big ifs right now. I wish I had my crystal ball going. Never in the history of real estate has it dropped and never come back up, at least not in Los Angeles. There are a lot of people still getting loans during this, this time. You know, a lot of people think, oh, I can't get my loan. Yes, you can. You know, banks are a little bit more forgiving because they know you're probably going to get your job back. You might not, but you're probably going to get your job back. If you're thinking about buying and you don't think you're going to get your job back, even though you're making good money, then this is not a good time to buy for you. Real estate is the only investment that hedges against pandemics, uh, major crises, Especially if it's paid off. I mean, that's the best thing for you. And I know that takes a little while, but it, it's, it's yours. If you are in a rental, someone could just sell it from underneath you. They might not have anywhere to go. It's been so hard to, uh, to find rentals. I know a lot of people that have poor credit that gets kicked out of their house because the landlord wants to sell. And they're having a hard time to find a place. So you don't want to be that person. You want to build equity for the future. See, renting, renting property is one of the worst things you can do if you can afford to buy a property. That money that you put into there is just disappearing. You're not getting any value from it. In real estate, you are building equity. And you can take that equity to, to purchase more properties later on, to use as your retirement. If you rent for 20 years, you have practically bought your landlord's house. They say thank you. <laughs> Do you want to be that person who is buying that house for your landlord? Or do you want to be the person that is building equity and building it up for you? A lot of different things that we can discuss about the future of the market. And I would love to talk to you. Please give me a call or email me. I wish everybody to be safe and healthy. Please be careful during these trying times. The COVID stash, yay or nay?